Hi everyone, I'm Prey and I'm going to be showing you all how to make a pattern for IMVU using Photoshop and GIMP and then how to upload them into IMVU and IMVU Studio. Always make sure you're using your own graphics and patterns yourself that you've designed. Don't use brands and don't use copyrights and also don't use Google Images because it goes against IMVU's terms of service and it could get your account in trouble. Making your own patterns makes you stand out and it's what shoppers look for in the end on IMVU anyway. Some websites you can use for free stock though, Unsplash, Design Sponge, Plexels, and Pixabay. To create my pattern in GIMP, I have my texture file set up right here. I also have the back and the sleeves also applied all in one canvas. All I did was open up one file and then I drag and dropped the other files into the scene that are also the same size as this canvas. I'm going to come up here to file and create a new canvas. This canvas can be any size you like. I'm going to use the star as my pattern design and I'm going to select the paintbrush tool and change the color of the brush to something I want for my pattern. I'm going to hit OK and now I'm going to come down here to the bottom right and I'm going to select this button here to create a new layer. And I'm just going to hit OK, making sure that this is set to transparent. Now we have our new layer. In this new layer, I'm going to put my design in the center. Just be sure it doesn't touch the edges. We're going to duplicate the layer. This way we can create a seamless pattern. So with the layer selected, we're going to come down here and hit create a duplicate of the layer. We can now create a seamless texture. I'm going to come up here to layer, transform, and offset. I'm going to set the offset by clicking the by width and by height buttons. Hit OK and now you have your seamless texture. We have to make sure that we merge these layers together so we can use them for a pattern later on. Right click and hit merge down. Now your layer is all in one and you can move it around and adjust it however you like. If you would like to see what your pattern looks like in a larger scale, all you have to do is go here to filters map, and tile. Set the dimensions to something larger than the current canvas size, and you'll see the pattern repeat more. Hit OK once you have the dimensions you want, and there it is. I would like to save this image out and use it for my texture. I'm going to hit File and Export. I'm going to save it in a location where I can find it and name it something and hit export. Continue to hit export and your image is now saved. Now that I've saved out this texture, I'm going to put it into my texture for my shirt. So I'm going to grab the file that I've saved into my folders and I'm going to drag and drop this image into the scene. And now you can see that our pattern's here but it's too large. So what I would like to do is I'd like to scale down my texture, but not the entire canvas image itself, just the pattern. I'm going to go here to Layer, Scale Layer, and I'm going to set this to the same size as my canvas. Hit Scale, and voila! Now you have a pattern that fits the size of your canvas. The only thing left to do is to save out each image with your new pattern applied separately. So for this, I'm going to go File, Export, and give it a name. I'm going to call this front and hit export and export again. Now I'm going to turn on this layer and apply the same method by going file, export. This is the back, so I'm going to call it the back. Hit export, export again, and then repeat for the sleeves. Export as sleeves. Now that you have all your textures saved out, you can now export all of these into IMVU and IMVU Studio. I have my base texture here in the scene. I also have it set up to where I have the front, the back, and the sleeves all in one canvas. Now, I don't want to end up destroying these layers and putting my pattern directly on top of them to where I can't change it later. So what I want to do is I want to create a new pattern on a different canvas and then I'll come back to this later and apply it to it. So to do so, I'm going to go to File, New, 
and I'm going to make sure that my width and my height are a perfect square. You can make the canvas size whatever you want, but I'm just going to keep it at 200 by 200 in pixels. Now I'm going to hit create for my new canvas. Now I'm going to come down here to the bottom right and click new layer. I'm going to double click to rename it just so you know that this is our pattern layer and I'm going to grab my brush. Now you're going to see that I have a star as my brush because it is a design that I pre-made ahead of time. You will probably end up having to draw your design by hand first and you can make anything you want in the center. It could be a smiley face, a heart, anything. I'm going to go ahead and select a color and I'm going to just put my design right in the center and making sure it's not touching any of the edges. Now I'm going to select my layer and I'm going to duplicate it. This is going to help make our seamless pattern. And I'm going to drag and drop it down in here into the layer section. It's been created. There's two of these layers of the same kind. And what I'm going to do is come up here to the filter button and I'm going to go to other and offset. If I come here, you can play with the sliders and you can readjust the alignment of these. But I'm going to make sure it stays 100 by 100 and depending on your canvas size, these numbers might have to change. We want to make sure that our texture is going into all four corners and that it's set to wrap around. I'm going to hit OK. And then the last thing that we need to do is to make sure that these layers are merged together and not separated. So when we save out our pattern, it knows not to just grab this part of the layer or this one, but it gathers all of it as a whole. All you have to do is right click on the top layer and hit merge down. Now all of our layers are combined into one. Now let's make it into a pattern. So I'm going to come over here to edit and I'm going to go define pattern. Name this whatever you like and hit OK. Now we're going to take this pattern and put it onto our shirt. I'm going to click on this top layer here to make sure that it affects everything underneath it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit new layer I'm going to take the white color, have it selected, and my fill bucket tool selected, and I'm going to fill the canvas with the color white. Grab my move tool, and I'm going to double click this layer. And we're going to come down here and select pattern overlay. I'm going to come over here and look through my pattern selections. We can see our pattern here, and I'm going to click on it, and it's going to apply it all over. You can mess with the slider and change the scale of the pattern, and you can also play with the transparency of the pattern, as well as the angle. And I'm just going to scale this up a little more. I'm going to hit OK. So this is our styled layer, and we can turn this on and off. We're going to have this layer selected, and we're going to come here, and we're going to scroll through all the different layer options. You might find some really cool results, but for my design, I think I want to stick to multiply. Now the great thing is because you made this a layer, you can turn it on and off. And then on top of that, because you have your other things like the back of your t-shirt and your sleeves, if you turn them on with the eye icon, they'll also be affected by the pattern. Now what you want to do is save these out. So I'm going to turn my pattern back on and I'm going to go to file and save as. I'm going to make sure that I save my file as a JPEG because it's the lowest level of compression for the image and it'll make the KBs for it lower in IMVU. I'm just going to call this top front and hit save. Then hit OK. And then if you want to save the others out, all you have to do is turn on the eye icon and repeat the same process. Save as JPEG I'm going to call this one back because it's the back of the top we're saving. And OK. Now that we have all of our images saved out, we can now start exporting them into IMVU and IMVU Studio. Now we're going to apply our texture in IMVU Studio. To do so, I'm going to come up here to this plus button. And I'm going to put in the product ID for the top that I want to create. I'm going to paste this number in and hit enter on my keyboard. It should open up over here and we should see it shortly. There it is. And now I'm going to hit deprive. 
Okay, here's our top. To apply the textures, we need to come over here and select. It's going to open up this menu over here. And where it says diffuse, we're going to come over here to this plus button and hit it. And then add our image here. This is the front of the top, so I'm going to apply the texture. Hit open. And you can see it appeared here and here. There's no changes yet because we still need to hit preview, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and add the other textures. If you come back over here, you repeat the same process. And then over here for the back of the top, add image and apply the back. Now let's see what it looks like in the scene. I'm going to hit preview and voila! We now have our pattern in the scene of IMV Studio. And that's how you do it.